Hi, my name is Grandmother Frog. And I'm going to tell you the story called Grandmother Frog's Magic Bully Buster Song. Every time I say the word bully, I want you to sing this song with me that I'm going to teach you one line at a time. And you'll notice during this song, when we sing the word baby, we're going to clap. All right, and you're going to repeat after me. This is to the tune of Head and Shoulders Baby. But it goes like this. Stand, now, when I say stand up straight, you're not going to stand. You're just going to sit up straight. Okay, here we go. Stand up straight, baby. Don't you slump. Try that. Stand up straight, baby. Don't you slump. Look them in the eyes, baby. Not at your feet. Look them in the eyes, baby. Not at your feet. Smile and breathe. Smile and breathe. Smile and breathe. Smile and breathe. Smile, baby. Smile, baby. Smile and breathe. Smile, baby. Smile, baby. Smile and breathe. Ooh, you sound good. Now let's do it all together. Stand up straight, baby. Gum, you slump. Look them in the eyes, baby. Not at your feet. Smile and breathe, smile and breathe, smile baby, smile baby, smile and breathe. Good job. There was once a rabbit by the name of Fuzzy Rabbit, who was always getting bullied by... Uh-oh. Here she comes now, Fancy Fox. Fancy Fox said, my name is Fancy, Fancy Fox, I'm going to take a chancy and do the bully dancy on, oh, not on you, you're using good posture, oh, not on you, you're making eye contact with me, well, not at you, you're smiling, um, oh, 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 on you, hey, fuzzy. Fancy Fox says, audience, when I wake up in the morning, I feel flat and deflated like a balloon with no air in it until I find Fuzzy Rabbit and I bully him just once. This is going to be great. Hey, Fuzzy! Fuzzy Rabbit said, uh, what? Fancy Fox said, Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Rabbit said, I I'm not a bear, I'm a rabbit. Fancy Fox said, Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. So Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't Fuzzy Wuzzy. Fuzzy Rabbit said, I, I do too have hair. Well, actually it's fur, but I got fur from the tips of my ears to the bottom of my cottontail. <laughs> Fancy Fox said, floppy cottontail, floppy cottontail, hop your way back to jail. Fuzzy Rabbit said, I've never been to jail in the first place. Stop being so mean. <laughs> Fancy Fox said, oh! like a fully inflated balloon, never lasts. So, I go find Fuzzy Rabbit, I dance my bully dance, which makes him dance his victim dance. It was all working great until Fuzzy Rabbit went to visit Grandmother Frog. That's right, one day, Fuzzy Rabbit came to visit me. Grandmother Frog. Fuzzy Rabbit said, Grandmother Frog, please teach me that magic bully buster song so that F Fancy Fox will leave me alone. Sure, Fuzzy Rabbit. Okay, you need to do this every time you see a 
Bully. Everybody get ready. Stand up straight, baby. Don't you slump. Look them in the eyes, baby. Not at your feet. Smile and breathe. Smile and breathe. Smile, baby. Smile, baby. Smile and breathe. Fuzzy Rabbit said, Grandma's a frog? I'm supposed to sing that song to Fancy Fox? No, Fuzzy Rabbit. You're not supposed to sing the song to her. You're supposed to do the things that the song talks about. Oh, well, how does it work? All right, first, you need to use good posture. If you're sitting, you need to sit up as tall as you can sit. If you're standing, you need to stand as tall as you can stand because when you use good posture, you look strong and confident and like somebody that it would not be easy to bully. Oh, okay, using good posture. Okay, I got that. What's next? All right, next, you need to make eye contact. You need to look directly in their eyes. Don't look down at your feet or over their shoulder or off to the side. Because if you do that, you look nervous and like somebody that's easy to bully. But if you make eye contact with them, you look strong and confident, like somebody that would not be easy to bully. Oh, okay. Good posture, eye contact. Got it. What's next? All right, third, you need to smile with confidence. Smile like you really feel good about yourself. Because once again, if you're frowning or looking worried or nervous, you look easy to bully. But if you smile with confidence and warmth, like you really care about everybody, you look strong and like somebody that would not be easy to bully. Okay, good posture, eye contact, smile. Okay, what's next? Last, you need to remember to breathe. Grandmother Frog, I don't have to think about breathing. I breathe all the time without even thinking about it. You're right, Fuzzy Rabbit, but I'm not talking about that kind of breathing. I'm talking about those deep, calming breaths that you take. Because when you take those, it sends oxygen to your brain. And with that extra boost of oxygen, suddenly you'll know exactly what to do or say. So let's try that, a deep, calming breath. And another one. And one more. Doesn't that make you feel good inside? Yeah. All right, Grandmother Frog, I get it. Thanks. I'm going to go home and practice. So Fuzzy Rabbit went to his home. And he started to practice. Hey, everybody, you can practice with me. Okay, you sit up as tall as you can sit, and I'll stand as tall as I can stand, even though I'm short. Hey, good posture, everybody. Okay, now, let's make eye contact with each other. You can look at me. You can look at your neighbor. You can look at your teacher. I see you. Do you see me? All right, good eye contact. Okay, third, all right, you need to smile with confidence like you just won a race where you got 100% on a test. Ooh, good smiling, everybody. And last, let's take three of those deep, calming breaths and notice afterwards how good it makes your body feel. You know, it would be good to take these deep, calming breaths before you take a test. It will probably give your oxygen extra power so you can have better brain power. All right, good job, everybody. Back to our story. The next day, Fancy Fox found Fuzzy Rabbit and called, Hey, Fuzzy! Let's remind Fuzzy Rabbit what you're supposed to do when you see a bully. Stand up straight, baby. Don't you... Look, look them in the eyes, baby, not at your feet. Smile and breathe, smile and breathe. Smile, baby, smile, baby, smile and breathe. Fancy Fox said, okay, just watch. I'm going to make Fuzzy Rabbit cry. This is going to be great. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Do you think?
Anything fuzzy rabbit cries? Nope. E. Stood up straight and tall. E. Looked fancy fox right in the eyes. We smiled. And even while Fancy Fox was doing her put down, he was already starting to take those deep, calming breaths. You want to take at least one, but if you have time, do two or three, because the more you breathe, the better it helps. And then he said, Fancy Fox, do you need glasses? Fancy Fox said, no. Why? But Fancy Fuzzy Rabbit said, well, I just figured you must need glasses because you think little old me is a bear. That's funny, Fancy Fox. <laughs> Fancy Fox said, all right, well, maybe I didn't make him cry that time, but I'll, I'll make him cry this time for sure. Just watch. This is going to be good. Okay. Floppy Cottontail, Floppy Cottontail, hop your way back to jail. Did he cry? Yeah. No. He took another deep, common breath calming breath and he thought of something else good he could do. He said, hey, Fancy Fox, you're really good at making those rhymes. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make it about you. This will be good. Okay, Fancy Fox, um, oh, yeah, wearing red and white socks, uh, lives in a box, just pretend, surrounded by rocks. How'd I do, Fancy Fox? Fancy Fox said, Fuzzy Rabbit, you're no fun anymore. Fuzzy Rabbit said, I'm having fun, and you can have fun too if you and I become friends. Friends? Friends? Well, all right. We can be friends.